What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel run good here coming at you with a brand new video and we are checking out the debut of the highly anticipated long-awaited 2021 prism football retail configurations I've been waiting for this thing to come out for months of course we are missing the cello pack but today we have a Walmart hanger box Walmart mega box and a Walmart blaster if you are excited for today's video go ahead and hit that like button if you're new here hit that subscribe button and you're gonna have to do both if you want a chance at a prism hanger box of your own because I'm giving one away hell yes yeah. go ahead like the video subscribe to the channel and drop a comment I want to know if you were able to cop any retail prism today, whether it, or uh, retail prism this week, whether it was during the target drop on Tuesday morning that we all waited up till 4 or 5 a.m. on the West Coast, or maybe you were able to get some at your local Walmart. Um, me personally, I was able to get some on target during the blaster and mega box drop. And then one of the uh, local uh, local flippers, whatever, you know, let's just say, you know, the flippers, that's what they're referred to in the hobby. You got the stuff? Oh, I got the hookup. Question is, you got the money. Uh, reached out to me. He was able to score at several. All my Walmarts are on lock. I'll say that. I haven't been able to find a good product since spring 2020. Uh, they all get scooped up. They have connects. I don't know how they do it, but I was able to get some uh, for this video. Uh, obviously, being one of the first people on YouTube to review all three uh, is important to me on the channel. So, yeah, I did pay way over market, but hey. That is the name of the game in the YouTube game if you want to be a content creator and you want to beat everybody to the punch. Slimy, it's satisfying. Uh, we are checking out all three today. Uh, Blaster is going to be my least favorite. Hanger box is probably going to be my most favorite, but we'll save the mega box for the end. We are going to talk a little bit about the differences between all three, and then we're going to talk about the differences between the mega box from Target and the mega box from Walmart. This is, of course, a Walmart mega box. So the Blaster's. Uh, you are going to get two uh, laser parallels, one silver per. Uh, you're going to get 24 cards total over on the side. You can see nothing numbered and no uh, nothing numbered and no autographs. So the best cards are going to be a silver or a laser of the top rookies. You can also hit memorabilia cards out of here. Um, these dropped on Target.com for $29.99, I believe. I believe that was the price not a fan of these wasn't a fan of these yet last year hard to get any value out of them compared to the other retail products we'll do this one first uh hanger box gonna be our favorite product probably of the year um other than that target mega box which we'll talk to about in just a second 20 cards total for red ice parallels so red ice is coming out of hanger boxes this year uh, we are going to get hanger box exclusive silver. Some of the Trevors and uh, Mac Jones have already made their way onto social media and eBay. Turn it over on the back. Again, our best card is going to be those rookie variations and the red cracked ice. No autos, nothing numbered. And then finally, the mega box with 40 cards. Unfortunately, uh, unlike last year where you were guaranteed an auto per box on average, uh, this year you're just getting the memorabilia card, and that is a key difference between the Walmart Mega Box and the Target Mega Box. Uh, the Target Mega Box does have one autograph or memorabilia. Um, there's some goods and bad to those. Obviously, the auto being a big positive, you know, pulling a Mac Jones or Trevor Lawrence potentially out of retail. But with that, when it comes one auto or one uh, memorabilia, Unless they put decoys in the boxes that have autographs, um, you know, some some people some people in the hobby, some highly unethical people are gonna weigh those out, and uh, you're gonna get the heavy boxes this time around because they want to hunt for the autos. So I'm really hoping that Panini has learned a lesson from the past, and I'm really hoping that those boxes that have autographs also have the decoys, aka spacer cards, in there. Turn it over on the back. Uh, very interesting with this skew. Uh, we are gonna get the neon green pulsars that returns, but also an added addition this year: the black and red checkers, which are gonna be super short print. There were a super short print blue and a super short print red last year. I believe they came out of blasters. Might have came out of Mega Box. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we're also going to get uh, rookie Neon Pulsar uh, rookie gear. So that's going to be the Mems. Again, no nothing numbered, nothing, uh, no autographs. And the reason I keep bringing that up is because this year I do feel that Prism Retail is a little bit watered down. Uh, we saw 220,000 blasters drop on the target drop Tuesday morning. I think about 80,000 megas too. I could be wrong on that second number, um, but with no nothing numbered, 
and with no autos that means they can print this stuff to the moon um there could be just be we could just see this product for the next six months hypothetically uh i doubt we will um but without anything numbered that means the the limited availability uh, there is no limited availability other than the ability to find these so if you can find them on your local shelves go for it it's a cheap alternative to the 1400 dollars hobby box 850 dollar uh, no huddle box uh whether or not i think that ripping that much in retail will get you more than a get you more value than a hobby box i don't know i'm not sure uh last year i was a firm believer that retail for optic and prism and select was very good compared to the price of hobby this year i'm not so sure we are gonna have to open some of these no the intro went a little long know a lot of people want to hear my thoughts so without further ado let's go ahead and get to the blaster first like i said blaster it is what it is wanted one for a review but don't know uh don't know if they're gonna be much better than last year so six packs 24 cards two lasers and then silvers as well so let's go ahead take a look our first look at the channel here on some retail prism hopefully we can just see a mac and make some money uh, we have Antonio Gibson, DK Metcalf, Davis Mills. Okay, maybe we're in a good, maybe we're in a good rookie run. We'll take a Davis Mills, and then our first look at a laser looks exactly like last year's laser, and that is going to be Tyreek. That card, of course, already outdated. Tyreek Hill now a member of the Dolphins, but we will take that uh, Davis Mills. I like Davis Mills. I think Davis Mills is very underrated. Uh, our second laser going to be right here. Slayton, uh, we have a James White, and then our laser gonna be Joe Tryon. I forgot the logos up there. Joe Tryon for the Bucks combine uniform. You know, it is what it is. Maybe that's a practice jersey, actually, not a com combine. Still looking for. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we have crushed our average because this is our third laser. We were only supposed to get two. Uh, rookie is gonna be Shy Smith. And then for the Falcons, can we get a Kyle Pitts? Nope. Gonna be Michael Vick. Should see one silver. We're open for the one in 440. 440 cards in the set. We want the, we want to see that Mac Jones. Insert in the back is gonna be a fireworks of Darren Waller. And then our silver. Not a rookie, and that is gonna be DK Metcalf. So that one is going to the PC for me. A little off center, but not gonna grade it dollar two dollar metcalf i think that's probably the only silver this is going to be the fourth laser though got josh allen right there denzel mims michael carter and then our fourth laser going to the vikings and hopefully it's a wong Wu or a mond uh but it is going to be patrick jones nobody wants you around all right last pack in the blaster then we get to my personal favorite the hanger box and uh we went Five for six on, we went five for six on lasers. I'm a little surprised. And uh, for the Titans, so we don't really care. Uh, that is going to be Vince Young to go along with our Michael Vick. So that is the design. Same look as last year's lasers. Um, yeah, it's, it's par for the course. All right, let's go ahead and hop on into what I believe is going to be the best retail SKU uh, that we've seen so far. And these are going to be the 20 card hanger box. Of course, Walmart exclusive. Now, last year, the Target exclusive hanger boxes did only have 10 cards. They did have light blue parallels, I believe. So we'll have to see when the hanger boxes, if the hanger boxes drop, uh, if we uh, see the light blues return or not, because we have the red ices in here. So again, 440 cards, same thing. Best hit is going to be a rookie variation silver. So that is what we are hoping to see today. I guess a red cracked ice of a top QB gonna be also up there, but rookie variation silver probably gonna be more desirable considering uh, considering that the Mac and the Trevor actually look better than their base counterparts. I've seen the Mac, I've seen the Trevor. They both look really sharp. Uh, Mac is actually passing the ball instead of handing off. And I did see a silver in the back, so maybe keep the dream alive. Uh, rookie of Rashad Bateman, we have Hardy Nickerson. And then our silver is going to be a silver variation. Um, It's looking like he potentially bears. Uh, but we're going to have Dwayne Eskridge for the Seahawks. The price is wrong, 
That's Prism. It's cool, Cruel Mistress. 440 cards, 110 rookies. Odds of hitting any one or less than 1%. Our first cracked ice is going to be for the Colts. Uh, we have DeForest Buckner. Teddy Bridgewater. Typically, the rookie is going to be in the back. Old Baker. We'll see what happens to him. I'm, I'm really curious. I hope he doesn't end up in a Seattle uniform. And one rookie in the back, and that looks like Carolina to me. Carolina or Los Angeles. And that is going to be Rashawn Slater. So, not too much going on there. There's that Lance that I was hoping for. I was hoping to see a Lance or a Lawrence or a Mac. There's a Lance. So, we so far, we've opened a Blaster. We've opened a Hanger. Uh, and so far, all we really have to show for it is a Davis Mills and a Trey Lance. I don't know how much Davis Mills is going for. Maybe like... 10 bucks or so maybe more i haven't really looked at the market for base cards i know the lance being an insert probably not that much final box of the day we do have a 40 card mega box i believe this is going to be 10 packs with four cards each memorabilia going to be in here and again two neon pulsars was what we got last year in the mega box and then we did get one auto in this configuration last year but this year we are getting a memorabilia card instead so yeah, not, not a fan of that change. Not a fan of that change, considering these are going to sell for more than what the 2020 sold for out of the gate on the secondary market. Uh, so let's go ahead, see if we can't find something to pay off what we paid today on the secondary market. Uh, by the way, about 145 on the Mega, about 50 on the Blaster, and 55 on the Hanger is what I paid to get this video up to y'all on a Thursday. Uh, there's Nickerson again. Miles Gaskin, Anthony Schwartz, and a silver for the Cowboys. Can we get Micah? Can we get Micah one time? All right, we'll settle. We'll settle with Jabril Cox. I was hoping for a Micah. Give to Pack Attack Jackpot, but I'll probably give that one to him. Uh, memorabilia is probably going to be there unless they use the decoy cards like I mentioned. Would be nice if they did, but there's Tom Brady. Watson, Roundtree, and a new recruits of Zach Wilson. We have the kid reporters. You know, if your kid wants to go to the Super Bowl that happened in February, you can enter that code and then uh, build a time machine. And if you can build a time machine, let me know. I'd love to go back to a year like 2017 and, and buy up some Prism then. Uh, one of our Neon Pulsars is going to be in here. Cortland Sutton, Curtis Martin, Devonta Smith, good rookie. And then another rookie, and that one is looking like Jags or Dolphins. Prism, one time, don't let me down. Oh, tie me with this s***. Well, I uh, tried to use my one-timer in this video. I think you're allowed one one-timer per video, right? That, that That's the YouTube standard. And we got Jalen Phillips. We are hoping for Jalen Waddle. The wrong Jalen. All right, our second Pulsar is in here. Let's see if we can get another rookie sweat. At the very least, give us a sweat. At the very least, give us a sweat. No sweat. So we're looking for Brady, Allen, or Mahomes, basically. Uh, we're not really looking for J.J. Watt, but we'll take him. Again, the Neon Pulsars look sharp. Um, so this is... This is a highly desirable retail parallel. Maybe the most retail, the desirable retail parallel, in my opinion. At least it was last year. You know, if we pull four or five or six of them out of this mega box, maybe I'll think differently. But we will keep it on rolling. And we do have a silver in here. Carson Wentz, Kellen Mond. And then for the Falcons, can we get a pit silver? Nope. Michael Vick again. Michael Vick. You know what? I will say one thing that I will give Panini credit. Whatever they did to the Prism uh, uh, Silvers this year, they do pop significantly more than in years past. So I, I do enjoy that when we open Prism. I do enjoy that the Silvers, you know, even when you get a bad player, you're like, oh, damn, that one really pops. All right. Well, there we go. We have a third Pulsar. So we only saw two of these per Mega last year. So we are seeing more, more Pulsars, probably to make up for the lack of autos. Uh, Marquez Stevenson, not a rookie. That's going to be Travis Fulgham, though. So our third. So, so far in our blaster, we saw five lasers, and that is our third Pulsar so far. 
I'm, I'm thinking we might see quite a few. We might see quite a few. Uh, Kenny Wongwu right there. That's a, There's that Wongwu that I asked for a little bit earlier. Patty Mahomes on the fireworks. And there is our fourth Pulsar. So more Pulsars than expected. I guess that's a good thing. More chances at Mac. More chances at Trevor, Zach, Fields. For the Packers, can we get Rodgers on the team color? Rookie, uh, Eric Stokes. So that is Neon Pulsar number four. I do like that they upped the count. Now that will uh, reduce the desirability. Uh, having more Pulsars out there means there will be more available. And again, this is going to be our fifth one right here. So it looks like five Pulsars and one Mem per Mega. At least if all of the other Megas are similar to this one. Uh, Wagner, Quinn Miners. And for the Cowboys, can we get that Micah that I asked for earlier? Nope, we're going to have a Mari Roger, or Mari Cooper, excuse me. All right, and we are down to one pack today. I hope you have enjoyed this retail review. I hope you've enjoyed the little bit of info and knowledge that I've shared today with what we saw last year and what I think this year. Uh, we are going to have a silver and a mem. So Savage, uh, Don, uh, Javonta Williams. Silver is going to be DeAndre Hopkins. I was kind of hoping I saw those colors on the side, hoping it was either going to be Lance or Pat Tillman. And then our final card of the day, a look at a mem. Seeing Bears colors on the side, maybe Broncos. Uh, Davis Mills. We'll, we'll start. We'll uh, we'll end the video where we started. We pulled a Davis Mills base card. Now we're coming back with a Davis Mills mem card. And one thing that I do like about this, it actually kind of looks like a game photo. Now that now that you're looking at it, compared to his rookie card, where it kind of looks like they got imposed on like a practice field. Kind of looks like a mannequin. This time he actually looks like he might might have been in a game in that photo. Of course, the memorabilia, not from any specific game or event. I didn't even have to look at the back to tell you that. But hey, I like the look of these this year. This is a much better improved look than last year on these mems. Overall, though, you know, not too much to talk about. A couple Davis Mills. Um, nothing crazy. Lance and Zach Wilson. Jabril Cox Silver. Definitely going to continue our string of not making our money back when it comes to doing these football videos on the channel. But hey. I was uh, happy to be able to bring this to you, an early look at a re at all retail as far as Walmart goes. We are missing the cello packs with the red, white, and blue parallels. Uh, we will do those in due time. Let me know uh, if you were able to cop any retail. Let me know if you hit anything, um, You know whether it was at a Walmart, whether it was at a Target drop uh, on Tuesday. Let me know in the comments below, and in about a week or so, I will pick a winner for this mosaic hanger box, or mosaic hanger box. I got mosaic on my mind. This prism hanger box. That is going to do it for me. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.